Hey guys, it's Bilgybutts here. Um, I've got a little bit of a cold, well not cold, but a sniffle, so I'm sorry if I sniffle during this video. Today I'm going to um, be talking about Spyro, the dragon, and um, basically I'm going to explain what make what I like about it so much, and what ruined it. So, to start off, my backstory with it, I got a PS1 when I was 5. First game I got with it was a motorbike game. Can't remember what it's called. But um then the second game I got with it, which was on the same day because it was my birthday, but anyway, was Spyro Year of the Dragon, which was the third installment of the series. Um I immediately fell in love with it. It was a little purple dragon. How can you not? He's got a best friend that's a cheater called Hunter and just go around knocking over knocks with your pointy horns and stuff. Next year onwards from that I got Spyro Gateway to Glimmer which was the second one so I basically played them backwards and it was so cool like the first the f first game I got Year of the Dragon which is the third game you have to collect the eggs. Second game, you have to collect these orbs. And then, when I was mm, like a bit older, I went to a second hand shop and I got Spyro the Dragon, which is the first one. Which makes no sense, but anyway. And that one was awesome. And, I, and then I got PS2 when I was seven. And I got Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, which is the fourth one. And. Admittedly, that wasn't the best one, but I could still kind of fall in love with it as it was part of the series. Then it came along, then came along a Hero's Tale, which was pretty much the same style as Enter the Dragonfly, but a bit better and a bit more less laggy. Um, and then they brought out the series The Legend of Spyro. Which is a more darker version, more like grown up version of Spyro, which I only really got onto about five years ago when I was ten. God, getting old. Not really, but yeah. Um, so yeah, darker version, m more epic. You could slow down time, more breaths more abilities, upgrade your breaths, it was amazing. What ruined it was... Dun dun dun! Skylanders. Now, I'm sorry for people who out there are like... I like Spyro and I also like Skylanders. I'm gonna have to disagree with you there. It's bad. <laughs> well, honestly, the first Skylanders was alright because it associated with Spyro because it was called Spyro's Adventure. Then it seemed like all those little figures you can get, they're all Spyro was at the front of the shelf along with like a few of the others and then the second game came along and she, he got pushed to the back, new characters took his place. It's got nothing to do with Spyro anymore and if it's a new series, if it's not got nothing to do with Spyro and it's meant to have nothing to do with Spyro, then that's fine. But seeing as the f it was booted up, it was like a spin-off from Spyro, made it that much more terrible. And what made it worse was that every kid loved it. When I was like seven or eight, I was playing the original Spyros, and they were amazing. Amazing. Now they've just dumbed it down and put interactive little figures you can... You don't need that shit. You don't need it. All you need is your PS2 and pos PS3, possibly, and done. That's all you need. Right, that's my rant over and done with. Thank you for watching. 
tell me in the comments what you think about Skylanders. If you think I'm completely wrong and that it's pretty cool, or if you agree with me that Skylanders is terrible, let me know. Like, subscribe if you want to see more. Just kind of game review, ranting stuff that means more to me. It means to me stuff. Right. So, I'm going to end this video like I have been doing the past few videos. Might be a bit cheesy, but there you go. So. I've been me, you've been you, and I'm saying bye.